This is a continuation of the videos that I started making yesterday to detail progress on my uh, Arduino NetDuino project that I'm working on for Lab Week at Comcast. To summarize, this is a NetDuino microcontroller board. It's a uh, internet connectable by virtue of this nice Ethernet connector here and has uh, a bunch of connectors on these these pins here where you can attach all sorts of other components. I have attached a piezo buzzer on this little breadboard and a uh, servo motor that I showed in uh, yesterday's video. So today there is some progress and I'll reveal what I've been working on. This is going to be an automated pet feeder. So what you're looking at is the shell of a pet feeder that I had that was battery operated with a little clock that ran on sort of a really slow cycle. You could schedule feedings for up to 48 hours in the future. And it operated by turning these little dials with a little clock motor and releasing this little tab that would flip the door up. What I've done is use this servo and a little linkage that I'm working on to operate this little gear train back and forth to turn that knob up on the top. So I'll turn this back over and show you what it does. So as you see, it turns the time dial rapidly using the servo enough that it should release the lid. The current engineering problem that I'm having is that the spring tension that holds this lid up is a little too tight and unfortunately the servo isn't quite strong enough to turn that dial when the spring is engaged. You see it doesn't really turn. So my next task is to do something about this spring arm here or maybe modify the spring internally which you can see down here it's wound around that that pivot point I may have to take one wrap off of it and see if that makes it easy to uh, makes it easier for the thing to operate so anyway that's the uh, part two update for today and uh, I'll make another video a little later once I have some more success.